Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. And then he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. Kid just rages for a while. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. The school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancier. <laughs> he sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him before his drinking did. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Shield saves his hide. Windbags start turning up for last call. Start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid.
it sees the weight of the bastion out the window, it's a bit of a drop. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. the old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Words birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Thank you. 
One was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion is real close now. Takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Kid better watch his step. a scumbag of his last meal. City's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core Kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. But down he goes. Down toward the bastion. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Ain't always much to say. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. The kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. 
Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. The Bastion. Ceylandia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the calamity struck. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ah. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. He cuts up Gershel like a pineapple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. The rest of the path is gone for good. City Crest won't bring it back. No core, no surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Kay can fine tune those instruments of his. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light.
With a good length of me scut, that bow's like new again. Core ain't here neither, so he's got to guess again. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. Now there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be alright. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Sometimes a single look says it all. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Bow and a machete, 
Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Fetching fears is like a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. Shot just happens in a flash. It ain't done bad at all. Kid ain't had enough of the breaker's barracks. <laughs> Takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too. Solid performance. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the breaker's challenge. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Of all the places.
plans to survive the calamity. It had to be stab weeds. Blast the things hurt like a broken heart. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Ship and start falling in. Scores born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Heard it pop that mean old form. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty, hard to tell. Words get real territorial around the core. And then a ship and a free sample shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the mother hand. Tax free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. Troublesome scene to be sure. A few moments left, and the core goes free. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You give or take a few seconds. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. He's got it. Just got
gotta get to the nearest barge. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Still others use the place to test their finest blades.
out soon enough. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and ripe. <laughs> Couples used to walk the sundown path. The kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security's all fired up. Quick and careful is the only way to go. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. The kid thinks twice about risking his hive. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Sky bridges bring the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is... Who else would have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. He gets the wind knocked right out of him. 
Ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find it. Gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. We could always see the stars, we just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. What else is there to say? War machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. <laughs> <laughs> 